So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build a small waterfall. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rip out this preformed waterfall. We're gonna get rid of the pipe feeding the water in. We're gonna improve the sound. We're gonna improve the look. And also we're gonna improve the filtration system on this pond. Stay tuned as I give you a step-by-step -step how to build a small waterfall video. There you go, that's better. I didn't like the sound of the preformed waterfall. So the first stage is to dismantle what we've got. And it's the same with any situation. So whether it's a grass bank, whether it's a shrubbery, whether it's a preformed waterfall, you, site preparation is the first step to how to build a small waterfall. So after the site preparation work, it's basically a case of clearing and seeing what we've got. Before we start doing the groundwork, then we basically clear the site. So now I've given you a hint on what the next stage is, it's groundwork. And what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna dig shelves and also we're gonna dig the waterfall box in, which is this, this here. This is a waterfall filter. If you want any more information about waterfall filters or waterfall boxes, Put it in the comments section below or check out my other videos but basically that's going to go into the ground slightly so it doesn't create an anthill or a volcano effect and um, we're going to get cracking on the groundwork so now it's start digging doing the groundwork the next stage is to put the filter into the hole that you've just created now if you're building on top of an old waterfall and it's concrete what I would recommend you do then is to move the location of the waterfall if you can't dig the concrete out the reason why I'm saying it is because if you build on top of old concrete it will only look unnatural. Now it's basically a case of fixing the, the waterfall filter. So the next stage is to fix the waterfall. A, a nice little trick is to basically get some hot water and pour it over the pipe and, um, and heat the pipe up that. And it's very important that you heat the pipe up in the autumn and in the winter. The reason being is because the pipe will move in the, in the summer if you don't. we backfilled the waterfall box now what I want to do is I want to put a bucket of water in there to basically wet test it while I go and have some lunch <laughs> finished my lunch now the next thing to do is to basically check the water level I've left it for about half an hour and there's not been any drops and now what we can do is we can basically check the levels of the waterfall box it wants to be sloping in towards the pond so the water doesn't actually go out the back and you, you suffer from water loss so what we want to do is we want a quarter of a bubble and as you can see it's absolutely spot on so now now the waterfall box is in situation the next thing to do is to get the underlay and the liner in place, ready for the installation. So there 
we go, we've got the liner in place and also what I wanted to do is just show you quickly, we've got an underlay, a liner and then an overlay. And the overlay protects the liner from puncture from above so we can put rocks, gravel, we can even tread on it with gravelly shoes or what have you. So if that was um, into the water, it would capillary act the water out of the pond. So we just basically fold that up. If it, the pond was made out of um, a, a pond rubber, then um, again, it would be that the, the fleece would just go in just above the water level. So it doesn't actually suck water out of the pond into the landscape. So now there's no fleece in the pond water. So now we can basically put the, um, the liner back on. Now here, we're gonna put in some more landscape rocks. So we don't need to worry about the liner going all the way over there. So we're only gonna have a waterfall about sort of like um, about a foot wide um, going into the actual pond itself. So the next stage is to basically secure the liner onto the waterfall box. And as you can see, I've tucked the fleece down um, underneath. So you, again, you're, you're creating that watertight seal. So as you can see, I've got carried away. The next stage is rock work. And as you can see, I've started to make a, a start on the rock work. What I've actually done is I've um, built up from a shelf within the pond to basically mask the liner going in. So underneath here, the liner goes down underneath the water and you want four to six inches into the water on a fall, just to basically make sure that the water doesn't go out onto the sides. So what I actually do is build up from a shelf or from a, a stage and inside the pond with rocks and then basically you can build your front spillway stone on top of those rocks. What we've got here is we've got a framing rock and we've got a framing rock here. The water is supposed to come through here. Obviously it's a case of switching it on is the next stage. So that's what we'll do now is we'll basically switch it on and wet test. And I think you'll agree, it's a completely different sound to the preformed waterfall. It's so relaxing, I just want to sit here and listen to the water. But I've got to crack on, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it off and carry on building the waterfall, and then I'll do the landscaping around. So the next stage is to carry on rocking and put some gravel and basically create more of the waterfall itself. <laughs> basically doing here with this spill stone is I've basically mocked it up and as you can see I've put obviously this supporting rock and this is going to hold that one in place and I fixed that in um, earlier. This one here is not fixed yet but I'm going to fix that but what I do is I basically dry stack it first and what I'm using here is I'm using a piece of natural stone um, paver um, to create that lovely um, effect and what I want to do is I want to prolong this so I've cut the edge off the lip off the waterfall filter and basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to secure this in place and sometimes it's a case of putting in a rock on the side to support it either that or what you can actually do while it's going off is um, put a put a stone in underneath to basically support it while the foam is setting so um, that's what I'm going to do now and um, we're going to have a, a lovely desired curtain effect coming off of here.
Hadley, that's a bit of an improvement. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that looks lovely, Mark. Totally different sound, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah it's gorgeous. It looks really magical. And there we go, what a fantastic project this has been. This has been how to build a small waterfall on a garden pond. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.